Hello everybody and welcome to Belle's channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber. Now in today's episode we are going to be playing Fallout 76 again. Now it's literally been a year since I played Fallout 76. It was last Easter around the time that they were doing Deathclaw Easter eggs literally. So I have not played it in a year. After that I just didn't really like the game. I basically played it to kind of see what it was like and obviously because I was doing videos on it. But I just ended up not liking it. I went back to playing Fallout 4. I just I didn't did not like Fallout 76. But apparently because um, when I stopped playing it there was they came out with the Fallout 76 roadmap. So in spring they were doing this sheep squash squatch thing and it was like a big uh, event where literally you couldn't kill this thing unless you had 10 other players with you. And I like Fallout because I like single player, I like to do it on my own and on odd occasion play it with somebody else, you know. But that's not just what not, that's just not what I've been brought up with with Fallout, you know. So I hated the fact that they would make you do that. Um, so I just stopped playing it. It wasn't for me. I didn't like the dynamics. I didn't like that there was no NPCs. I didn't like. I didn't feel like I was in the the game. There was no. There was no deep abyss of a. You know, like a deep gouge. You know what I mean? There was no storyline. I didn't feel involved in it. So I just thought it was like, no, I'm not playing it. So. Obviously with this roadmap they've come out with lots of new things, they've changed the design, they've made things easier, they've made things harder, they've done all this stuff. Um, and I've just literally stepped away from Fallout 76. And this week, apparently on Tuesday, they're going to come out with their first DLC. So, and like, this first DLC is supposed to add NPCs because they've realised everyone hates the game without NPCs. So it's gonna, it's called Wastelanders and it's free if you've already got Fallout 76 um, but not obviously if you don't. And I think that's really cool that they've done that because it is, I'm not paying for an extra feature that they took away. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so let's head into the game. I've literally signed in once just to see whether my game file was there. Um, I didn't actually go into the game. I I've completely forgotten all the mechanics and everything. Um, Fallout 76 is. Oh, so here we go. So, last chance. Claim your reward before April 15th. Link your Bethesda.net and Twitch accounts to unlock rewards before April 15th. I don't have a Twitch account. I might have a look into it. Be the first into danger and help everyone no matter the risk. Click below to visit the atomic shop responders. I don't know this. Put your fate in the purveyor's hands by choosing a mystery pick option to get a random three star thing around Appalachia. This month's theme is springtime. Submit your shots. Oh, okay, so that's a thingy. Okay, so yeah, I have not been in this literally so there's a few new things like down in the bottom right hand corner there's some new things so if I click info members only Fallout First don't just survive thrive Fallout First is a premium membership that provides benefits including play in a private world exclusively for you and up to seven friends a scrap box container with unlimited storage for crafting components that sounds good a placeable survival tent with fast travel point Stash, sleeping bag, and more for basic needs. 1,650 atoms per month using the atomic shop. And an exclusive ranger armor outfit plus unique icons and emotes. So, so that's private world. Ooh, it's from Fallout New Vegas. And there's your tent. So, this is members only. Holy shit. Holy shit, it costs £12 for one month. 
or 99 point, uh, sorry, 99.99 for 12 months. That's extortionate. That is fucking extortionate. Should be a fiver for a month at, at most. Shit in hell. I might get one month just to see what it's like. So, Atomic Shop. What's for free then? <laughs> Respond as volunteers needed. So those are signs. Responders bundle. This bundle includes respond blue responders flag, fire burners flag, white responders flag, clacks and more light, responders armor workbench, responders thingy, bench, crossed axes, plywood boards, red player icon. No, I'm not buying that. It's a paint set. I just want to know what's for free, dude. Literally, I just want to know what's for free. Responders. Oh, I like that. Might buy that later on. So yeah, that was like the literally the last time I played it. It was Sheep Squatch Ate My Brother. Literally it. I did claim that the other day, actually, when I was looking on here. Yeah, Nuclear Winter, that's the expansion thingy. So what's free then? It said something was free, nothing's for free by the looks of it. Responders, greatest hit. Future Tech Bundle. Visualize a global nuclear exchange and plan your escape routes with Vault Tech World Globe. Bundle includes Vault Tech World Globe Activator. What? Oh, that. Vault Stairs, Vault Prototype Generators, Tune. I don't get what it does. Mr. Pebbles. <laughs> Deathclaw rug. That looks mm, creepy. This is the stuff that's leaving soon. So this is what you can get free. It's a player icon. So you can buy wallpaper. Ooh. Expensive for that much. And this is what's in the sale. Alright. So, photo gallery. What have I got in my photo gallery? gallery. <laughs> Literally, just that, that was my first ever game. <laughs> Love that picture, that's my favourite. Like, seriously, my favourite. Oh my god, that's when I got my mum to play with me. She was wondering what I was doing, so I made her a character that looked just like her. <laughs> oh, that's my first Scorch Beast kill. With somebody. Some posing. That's a cool picture. That's at White Springs. Oh, that was my... When I killed a Scorch Beast on my own. So, I can kind of remember the storyline, but not really. Literally, look, time last played, 17th of the 4th, so that's literally like a couple days from now. Literally, there's not even... It's five days from now, so it's been five days since I've played um, within a year. So, 17th of the 4th, 2019, so literally. So I'm going to load into this save because I cannot be bothered to um oh this is new I cannot really bother to like, redo it again so the private world is an eight person friendly only world more info okay so there's the nuclear winter beta fill team on more information a battle royale set in the po post apocalyptic ruins of Appalachia Caught in the centre of a Syrian nuclear storm, do you have what it takes to emerge as Vault 51's next overseer? 
Game mode features you only have one life and the last team standing wins the match. Oh my god. Earn OVC XP and progress through OVC ranks to unlock new content. Uncover the tragic story of Vault 51's original dwellers as you gain access to new vault rooms. Unlock perks to use in brand new perk card system built specifically for Nuclear Winter. Fight as a team with three other players. Use fill team to find squad mates. Okay, okay, we may do that later. But let's just go to the standard open world and see what happened. <laughs> How has it changed? <laughs> I literally cannot remember anything. Literally. I know I read I read like a guide on the storyline. Um I remember like you exited out of Vault seventy six. But exited out of Vault seventy six as like a new person and then you found the responders faction that's what obviously was telling you to look at that's when you found about the new scorched then you got sent to the fire breathers then they sent you to there was a fire breather who got kidnapped by raiders that's how you found rose she then sent you to get this sort of equipment from oh, what are they called freelancers no oh shit what are they called what was the faction called it was like a damn it i cannot remember it i don't know let me look it up free states that was it free states and she managed to figure out there was an Abbey one, Abbey person. She managed to figure out a signal which could detect the scorched. And then you had to go find the Brotherhood, and obviously they were all dead again, as every other faction has been. And then they had the equipment, and they figured out the only way you could do it was by nu nuking the scorched beast hive. But I've not played in so long. God, I'm moving so slow. God, look at it. Oh, it's a camps. Oh, these are camps. Oh my God, it tells you where the camps are. God. This is like, so familiar yet so not there it is Abby's bunker yeah you kind of like went like this kind of on the map like there's vault 76 you get, then went down to the responders further down to the ash heap area where the fire breathers were um, you were then sent to the raiders over here oh no you were then sent up there sorry to Morgantown for the responders, then sent down to the fire breathers, then sent up here to the top of the world for the raiders, then sent up there for the free states, and you made your way down there, and then you were sent down into this area where the brotherhood was. I actually cannot even remember where the brotherhood places is. God. This is so weird. Legend, oh there's a new. I pulled literally 351 caps. <laughs> I remember everything was so expensive. Well, that's weird that he's dead. This is my stash box. Mm, I literally. 
god. I don't even remember. I've literally just got to learn everything again. So I've got Big Bad June. 90% reduced weight, yeah, and plus 10% health. So I kept that. Calamity Jane, 105. I'm selling most of this. I had Guy, that was a Gorv's rifle. I didn't need 200 damage. And I had that. That thing I had Magnolia. Shotgun Sally, everyone knows that one. God. I don't, I don't even... I really don't even remember any of this. I really, really don't. Orbital strike. I don't remember that. I got a plasma rifle. Oh yeah, you needed the Gatling gun. I remember that because you needed it to like kill. I can take toilet paper. Cool. Modify and repair. So I have a one repair kit, but I'm not going to use that. The game is proper glitchy. And I remember you couldn't really like upgrade anything because you had to find it. It's all right. Ammunition and other I don't even know where I am on the map. Available here. Oh. Okay. Let's sell some stuff. Oh, I have a combat shotgun. Now trading for supplies. Ammunition and gear. Like, nothing sells. Like, you barely make any cap. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies. Oh, this is my armor. Trading for supplies, ammunition, and gear. Oh, yeah, you had that. I'm literally just trying to remember again. Left arm. If you have supplies to trade, I'll I can I be can... of service. Uh, we got a pickaxe. Yeah, we don't want that. I don't want Menta. Don't want Psycho. Requisitions. We got no stimpacks. Available. to find a drink. <laughs> Have I got any water in here? Literally look at this stuff. Where is it even from? Oh, 
Well, yeah, I remember you could use bubble heads and you could use magazine. Alright, I need to find a drink. I literally am gonna die if I don't. Oh yeah, we had boiled water, didn't we? I don't have any food. Okay, so let's just sell some stuff and... Oh, ammo weighs as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I remember the game mechanics were alright, like, you know, like, drinking and it, it gave you survival mode, you could still fast travel. I'm gonna put that back because I do want to keep that. I'm gonna play with the shotgun, I think. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have a look at the shotgun. Well, that does not do as good as that, that's for sure. I'll keep it, just, you know, in case. Pioneer Scouts of America, the Order of the Tadpole. Pioneer Scouts of America, come and join the Order of the Tadpole, visit Camp... Lewis, to, that's what it's saying out there in my miscellaneous quest line. So perhaps that's something different that I'm not aware of. So I need to put in my ultra. I remember if you had like like uh, that power armor chassis. You could put that away, because I remember like there used to be a hack with it. This is all the stuff I wanted to keep. Because that's what somebody gave me. Because all this will weighs too much. I mean, look at it going up and up and up. I'm gonna sell that. Let me get out these power armor chassis and see. That's 60, mine's 71. I think I kept it just in case mine broke. This all barely weighs anything anyway. I can put all this away now. Jesus, I'm just so, like, what the, it's just a shock, like, I feel like I don't know what's going on, it feels like I'm a proper fallout person, you know, I literally have no idea what's happened to me, I've got an amnesia, I don't remember my family, where I'm from, what's going on, what I was doing, anything, Jesus, how many of these did I have, oh, well, 
I'm about to say notes. I'd say the whole game was based on notes and hollow tapes. That's what I meant about it. It's like you didn't really feel involved because everything was just on notes. And I couldn't be bothered to read that much. I'm playing a game. I don't want to read and read and read every five good minutes. Um, and either that, it was you had hollow tapes where you'd listen to, and it's like you didn't feel involved. So it was just. An, it wasn't as fun. Oh my god, this is taking fucking forever. It won't go quicker. Oh, there we go, it's almost done. I got all the hollow tapes. We'll just ignore them for now. So I've got a lot of ammo. What ammo do I need? I need 45, 2 mil, 2 millimeter, sorry, 40 millimeter, shell 5, 2, 4, 4, 5. So I need that, 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 which I have a lot of. The rest can all be sold. Oh, I can, can keep all my... Barely had any. I'll wait to do the power armor. But I am going to sell loads. Oh, I can't sell ammo. Oh, yeah, I remember you can't sell it. Resupply here, citizen. She's a great piss off. Great. So I'll just fill. I remember you couldn't make any money. And that was the thing, you couldn't make any money on quests and that. You just had to find it. Um I'll just carry it. No, because I'm over. That's alright, I'll put it away and then I also actually need some food. I'll just grab some honey for now. I don't think that does barely anything anyway. Well, I'll just sort it out. Um. The graphics look shit. Like compared to Fallout 4, it looks all blurry and fuzzy.
seeing if I have a camp somewhere. Because it's saying move camp. Oh, there's my camp. Well, I'll move it. I'm surprised it's lasted there for a year. Build. Whoa, okay. So this is what I had. Yeah, you had to find all this stuff, I remember. I have a brewing station. Oh, I've got one. I should have yes. I should have that. That. Yeah. The only thing I'm missing is cooking station. I have turrets and everything. Oh, it feels weird. It's a bit glitchy. I can have a... Oh. Do these actually work? Like, can I actually... If I put that there, because it's a waste, I'm not going to waste it. That's a cute chair. Oop. Where's my stash bar? there. Vending machine. Sell items from your stuff. Oh, you will receive 90% of the sale price when powered your camp will appear on the map as a vendor oh that's cool that's really cool <laughs> Do you remember these? Access daily? Access daily quests, connect with other wastelands and get important news about Appalachia. Okay, I'm trying to seriously I'm trying to remember all this shit. Vendors, I like that. I wanna 
I don't think I can scrap anything, can we? Yeah, I, can't, I can remember that you can't scrap stuff, you have to use junk. Oh cool, so you can just sell here caps only. Best deals here, it's mega sale. We got goods. I like that. It's cool. Right, exit. So Oh, you can actually, can actually go there. Let's see if we've got any food of any sort. Can make. Oh, we can do make boiled water. <laughs> but I cannot make anything else. <laughs> and craft bullets. I need steel to do that. A phantom design. Like yeah, see I can remember this, you put bulk together, then it bulks it in your um thing so it doesn't take as much stuff. Never bulk plastics is useless. You do energy ammo handmade holiday gift. Oh my god, that's so sweet. You can make grenades. armor which means you can sell it as well which is a good way of like getting weapons in that left arm is let me scrap that Seven. I like the colour because it's black, but that's better because it's weightless. We'll go with the weightless one and lighter build. Literally my chest armour and my arm that is the rest is all shit. <laughs> Literally got barely any armour. I need to modify that and repair it. Inspect to repair, I cannot repair it because I need screws and ballistic fibre. <laughs> okay, so I think we're going to stop there. I know we haven't really explored anything, but you know. Yeah, we're just going to stop there and see. I'm going to see if I can get some food and water just to like, make sure I don't die. Um, and I'm going to try and get used to a bit more of the controls so we can actually do stuff. Um, so yeah, join us in the next episode where we continue exploring Vault 76 after a year of not playing it. Goodbye.